Hello, and welcome to the Frivolous and Frugal Knitting Podcast. I'm here again just to let you know that we will not be um, podcasting this weekend, nor will we be doing the Saturday evening virtual knit night. Um, for those of you who have shared your amazing comments, your words of encouragement, um, just so tender-hearted, some of the remarks, your condolences, your sympathies. Um, Penny and her family really appreciate that. Actually, all of us do. You, you reached out to all of us. Penny is doing um, okay. She plans on being um, back home soon and going back to her normal schedule. So I'm hoping that um, we can start podcasting again the following week, but I'll keep you posted if we need to cancel. A couple of things though, she did ask me to share with you as far as those of you who participate in our knit alongs. We were hoping um, for the Saturday evening virtual knit night to cast on any pattern from the Saltwater Mitten book. Um, I talked to Jen, who's kind of the, the knitter who is kind of spearing us all on and encouraging us. She still encourages people to cast on this weekend if you are able. She would love you to post pictures in the discussion board on Ravelry as well. And so please do that. I'm hoping that I can get that done this weekend. Now we did tell you initially that two of those patterns in the Saltwater Mitten book were available for purchase on Ravelry. That is no longer the case. So if you would still like to do a pair of mittens, there are many um, Norwegian or Fair Isle patterns available on Ravelry and other sites. You can find them in all weights of yarn. And I think I will put um, in some of the ones that I'm familiar with. I've done Skein Deer Knits, her Selbu mittens, and I thought that was a well-written pattern. Or any of you who are doing other mitten patterns, if you wouldn't mind sharing the name of the pattern in the discussion board, that would be fantastic too. Now, Penny usually picks a hat every month that we can knit along if we want to. The pattern for this month is called the Antler Toque. I had to ask our fellow Canadians how to pronounce that. It is a free pattern on Ravelry by Tin Can Knits. It goes from baby sizes through the adult sizes and it's a beautiful cabled hat if you're interested in casting that on. And again, be sure to post pictures if you are. And then last but not least, the sweater, not the sweater, the Christmas ornament knit along. This month is a sweater pattern. I'm going to look down quick to make sure I get the name of the pattern correct. It is called the Christmas Sweater Ornaments by Kathy Rawcliffe. It is a pattern on Ravelry. It is a paid for pattern, $2.50, and you can knit little Christmas sweaters using fingering weight yarns. So here's what I think. If I knit a sweater ornament, does that make me a garment knitter? <laughs> I'm hoping so. Um, so please feel free to enter in all of those um, that you would like to. And I know we're probably behind on doing some prizes, so we'll get that settled um, in the next couple of weeks as well. So until then, I do hope you're finding time to knit. And I hope that throughout your week, you do find a little sweet twist of both the frivolous and the frugal. I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. <music>